Jalen, is there trouble in the bubble? There is no trouble. I'm going to tell you what he sounds like. You know on this show, we have a segment called What's Your Number? For me, mm-hmm. he just sounds like a millionaire. I want to tell everybody something. Playing basketball is not essential business. There are certain people walking the face of the earth that think when they go in the supermarket, those people just are gung-ho to put their lives on the line, potentially to catch COVID-19 to help you get groceries. No, they need to feed their families. These are made men, Jacoby. You got to think about the marathon, not the sprint. And you outlined very well some of the terms in the bubble over two or three months from the room to the bar to the pool, rinse and repeat without your family for the first six or seven weeks and no real plan of what's going to happen if somebody actually fails? Of course, there's going to be apprehension for anyone when it's time to return to their job that isn't currently going to it as they normally were before the pandemic hit. When they first sort of brought up the idea of Orlando and going down there, I immediately started thinking like, wow, that'd be like working and vacation all at the same time. The kids will play in the pool. It'll be so much fun. But then you start getting into the details and the policies and, oh, wait, you can't have your family down there for about two months and you can't leave the bubble. If you leave the bubble, you have to self-quarantine yourself. It just it doesn't seem as much fun as it used to seem as we get closer to the date. But I do believe that eventually both sides will end up in the bubble and we will get NBA basketball back on July 31st and I can't wait but that does mean that some players need to be in shape to play we have a little update on one of my favorite players Luka Doncic his trainer said that he's not in the best shape right now and he needs to get himself in the shape so Jalen how long do you think it'll take for an NBA player to get back into game shape it'll take Luka 30 days to get back playing at the level that he was playing because you initially got to go through the phase of where you're just gearing your body up. That's actually mm-hmm. just the calisthenics, the stretching, the getting loose, getting the rigor back up, getting your body used to taking that pound and that running, that jumping. And then you continue to amp it up. You're running and jumping and playing. You're running and jumping, doing drills, playing and playing five on five. And then all of a sudden you start to feel better about yourself. You start to get back into your game shape. But it's not a seven day thing. It takes like a month for your, not only you to kind of get back into the shape that he was going to, he was in, but also the kind of conditioning that allows him to perform at an elite level. I feel like he goes one of two ways in the quarantine. You've got players like James Harden and Ben Simmons who've been hitting the gym and, you know, using the quarantine to stay focused and losing weight and getting in shape. I mean, look at skinny James Harden right there. But there's also (laughs) the other way. I've gone the other way where I've just been in the quarantine, just constantly snacking, gaining weight, not working out that hard. So that's, I'm more of on the Luca, the Luca quarantine plan than the Ben Simmons, James Harden quarantine plan. What is it that you're trying to say, Mr. Rose? You know how much I stand up for the beard and all lefties. That reminded me of Luther Vandross. I might like (laughs) Big James more than I like Small James. I'm just saying, (laughs) we shall see. (laughs) You're the best. Moving on to a big man. Joel Embiid, he seems ready to go. Here's what he had to say about returning to the NBA. The following quote, we've been going at it the past four weeks, about six times a week, just trying to get a head start and getting ready for whatever's coming. I have something to prove, and I feel whenever that opportunity comes, it's going to be my time. We all remember how Joel Embiid's season ended last season with him crying, walking through the tunnel in Toronto. So this quote had me thinking about who his competition is. Is Joel Embiid the best center in the NBA? Here's no. That's Anthony Hmm. Davis. I would say he's second, but he has the talent of AD. AD a better three-point shooter, but Joel is a better post player. It's just more bulky and more powerful. And... Yes, he has something to prove. Because if I was lining up on a Saturday morning to pick the most talented players in the NBA, he's definitely going in the top eight or something like that. That's fair. Dribble pass and shoot, block shots, get boards, contest shots. And so him being healthy as somebody that's been injury plagued his entire career, he may be something special when the playoffs start back up. And the way their season ended last year, he and Ben Simmons will have something to prove 
and don't sleep on Philly. That's one of the things I really like about the bubble and the whole gap and then restart. It does feel like the NBA is once again wide open because there's no true momentum going into Orlando. So you could see a team like Philly come out of the East and maybe even win a championship. I'm just glad that he seems so ready and so confident for it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.